Welcome to the Deliverables Overview. Deliverables allow your firm to track multiple due dates for projects. Deliverables can be hard programmed into the application through the Create Deliverables Utility section of Workflow. When added they will populate in the Deliverables tab list for firm-wide use. Deliverables can also be added to the task on the fly, for one-time usage. We have pre-programmed a number of deliverables at the federal and state level for firms to utilize. These include the form information, the original due date, and any extension dates that may apply. During this video we will cover the deliverables section of the control sheet, and where users can see the due dates within the My View page, and the search results grid. To add deliverables through the control sheet, the user will select the client from their My View or Search Results page. Next, they will scroll to the Deliverables section on the control sheet. Here the user will see all the deliverables that have already been added to the task. To add an existing deliverable, click on the Add Deliverable tab within the task. This will bring the user to the available listing of existing deliverables. From here, the user can select the deliverable by clicking on it. The selected deliverable is displayed on the right side of the page, giving the user the ability to click Save to apply these deliverables directly to the task. Within the Deliverables section, users will notice there are some deliverables that have FSD next to the deliverable name. FSD stands for Firm Specific Deliverable. Firm Specific Deliverables are created using the Create Deliverables utility. Creating Firm Specific Deliverables allows the firm the ability to create their own deliverables at the firm level, tracking your due dates and your extensions. Also, within the Add Deliverable pop-up, you have the ability to create a task-specific deliverable. This allows your firm to create deliverables at the task level for tracking due dates and extensions. This is a user-right-driven field. If the user does not see the option to add a TSD, then they do not have that user right and they should reach out to their internal administrator. Let's add a task-specific deliverable. To add the TSD, the user will click on the task-specific deliverable tab. The user will need to enter the deliverable name and the form number. The user has the ability to set the deliverable due date based on the period end date, a fixed original due date, or no period end date. Further down, the options will allow the user to choose the original due date equal to the period end date, and to also add the extensions that may be required. Users can program the due date to be a certain number of days before or after the period end date. Once the deliverable has been added click on the Add button. The new deliverable will be listed to the right side. After clicking Save, the user will see the deliverable appear in the Deliverables section of the control sheet. Note that task-specific deliverable will be in blue. The columns shown include the deliverable name, form information, filing method, the period and date of the task, the extension task status, the original due date for the deliverable, and the current due date for the deliverable. Users can also see the deliverable date completed, the deliverable task status, not filing option and the deletion columns. The difference between the not filing and the deletion columns is that not filing allows the user to select a deliverable and state you are not filing it for the current year. This will remain on the task and stay with the status of not filing and roll over to the next year's project so the user can make the decision again. The deletion column allows the user to soft delete the deliverable from the deliverables page. This should be done when the deliverable was added in error and it needs to be deleted and not rolled over to the next year. An additional side note on this page is the filing method. This is populated directly from the assembly page. If the filing method needs to be changed, this can be done from the assembly section of the control sheet. Due dates from the deliverables page can be seen within the My View and the search results pages. The dates are visible under the due date column and will display the earliest due date for the task. The dates will adjust as the deliverables are closed out. This concludes this video tutorial on deliverables.